welcome to a new episode of Tutorials, Tips and Tricks. In today's episode, I'd like to share with you an update on my CSGO configuration and my keyboard layout. Because I've made some uh, major changes, I also added a new feature and um, I thought it was time to keep you up to date with my configuration. So, first of all, I'd like to start with my uh, key bindings or my by scripts. Um, in the last episode, I've showed you uh, I have showed you that I have uh, several weapons bound to my numpad keys and um, lately I have decided that it's time to keep uh, to put more weapons into my default weapon uh, weapons array so I needed some space for some additional weapons and what I want to show you now is what my new by script or my new keybinds look like so just simply wait here and have a look at the configuration First of all, I have moved the grenades uh, to the arrow keys to get some more space on my numpad keys. So here we have the smoke, the flash, the HE on the lower keys and also uh, the molotov at the top key. Uh, with this uh, additional place available, uh, I still have uh, in the lowest row on the numpad, I have the, key, I have the Kevlar and the diffuse kit. Uh, but now on the enter key, I have included the Zeus which is actually not uh, just a funny weapon, but it also absolutely in some situations makes sense to buy this weapon. Um, and it really helped me out uh, on several occasions. On the num uh, on the keys one, two, and three, I have now my pistol uh, pistols, but there's nothing new to this. On four, five, and six, I have the SMGs. But on four, I've added the Mac 10 because uh, actually the Mac 10 is quite a strong weapon if you're playing against unarmored uh, opponents as a terrorist or the MP9 if you're a counter terrorist. On seven, eight, nine, and the plus key, I still have the rifles. And one additional weapon is on the minus key, uh, the shotgun, because actually uh, buying a shotgun on s uh, specific maps in specific situations can be advantageous. Let's say, for example, if you're playing dropper uh, on an eco round on cobblestone. So, so much for the new uh, key setup. Now to the second major change, which is a new crosshair. Yes, I have a new crosshair. Um, if you, uh, in the last episode, I uh, told you guys that the uh, default static crosshair is probably the best crosshair in the world, and I still think it's a very good crosshair. But it does have one significant disadvantage. Let me show you what I mean. Now I have my new crosshair. Uh, it cooks, looks quite familiar, which is uh, actually um, what I did. So I recreated uh, the static, the default static crosshair using the classic static crosshair. Because when I switch to um, default static crosshair and close the console, you will see, let me show you what I mean. You can actually see that my uh, crosshair vanishes because I have the knife in my hand. Now if I switch to uh, the default static it reappears. Something I did not know when I uh, made the first tutorial about my crosshair was that actually if you're using the default static uh, crosshair it is not visible while you have your knife in your hand. Uh, even though this might be just a slight disadvantage or you uh, don't what you wouldn't notice this one in game it actually is huge problem if you're for example uh, let's buy an AWP and for some reason here is the AWP and at the end of the round I'm desperately trying to reach the AWP now with this crosshair in hand it's easy, easy to pick uh, up the AWP but imagine now oh, let's switch back to the other crosshair imagine uh, you don't have this crosshair it is actually quite difficult sometimes especially uh, uh, if time is running out to pick up this weapon so uh, yeah there have been several occasions when I saw that uh, this actually uh, might be a problem um, at the end of the round so I've decided to yeah basically recreate um, uh, the static the default static crosshair uh, with the classic starter. Now we uh, once again switch back to the other one. You see that there is hardly any difference. There is There are slight differences, but actually in-game it's very hard uh, to recognize them. So I still have this uh, 
yeah, yellow style outline, as uh, yellow style color. I have the black bars and so on, so everything is fine. I didn't have to get used to new crosshair, but now when I pull out my knife, I still have the crosshair. Uh, in my wrist. However, there's also a drawback when you're using a, um, the classic one. Um, the default static uh, does change uh, when you're aiming at a friendly unit. You get this uh, something cross thing at your crosshair, uh, which indicates that you're aiming at a, uh, at a friendly unit or at a friendly player. Of course, this might, uh, you can't see this, uh, you can't see this now. And also, if you're aiming at an enemy unit, the crosshair becomes red. But uh, I've tested both things and I've decided that the effect that I can see the crosshair while I have my knife in my hand is more important to me than uh, being able to see the change in the crosshair when I'm aiming at an enemy unit or at a friendly unit. Finally, last but not least, there is one also one uh, new feature to my configuration and this feature is um, that I can now switch, turn on and, or toggle the net graph at the same moment when I toggle the scoreboard. So let me put up the scoreboard and as you can see, as soon as I open the scoreboard, soon um, the net graph becomes visible as well. I saw this on the stream by Nazuada. Uh, while she was streaming, I think this feature is actually great because uh, every now and then you might want to check your uh, net graph or your connection, want to see what's going on on the server if you're running on 128 tick what, uh, or whatever. Um, and with this simple tip tap, uh, you can actually check out the net graph as, uh, at the same time as you check out your uh, the scoreboard. And uh, all the other time during gameplay, both the net graph and the scoreboard are not visible, uh, which is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, I think this is a very handy feature, um, and so I've included this in my configuration. Maybe you like this one as well. Um, yeah, that's basically it for the update. Uh, I've put the new configuration file for the for the auto exit file in uh, this, the description of uh, this YouTube video, so you simply can copy and replace uh, my previous one if you want to. And other than that. Uh, thanks for watching and I wish you guys a great time playing CSGO.